Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to Secret Government, the game where you're the most powerful person in the world and nobody knows it. Again, this game has gone into full release, so a big thank you to 1C Entertainment for sponsoring this video, and if you want to learn more, you can find a link in the description down below. Now, last time we tried playing with the New World and tried to create a new American nation, it was going fairly well as far as manipulating tax rates in the hearts and minds of the people, except it turns out their loyalty to the British government was pretty darn strong, and then, out of nowhere, Russia takes over New York. No one saw that coming. So since we got a bit unlucky, instead of being limited by the mission list for the third and final video of this, let's go for free play and we'll set our own goals and see what we can accomplish. Now I've been playing in 1775 just as before because I think it's a fun time period. Uh, for the Brotherhood Path over here, we could actually set a specific goal which would determine whether or not we effectively have won the game. Um, I'm going to go for nothing really in particular for that. I, I don't need, I'm not expecting to win the game per se. I just want to be playing unfettered here. We could also change whether we have older brothers um, in, the, uh, in the ranks who have more experience, but young people are less likely to join, but they do gain experience faster. I think we'll do that. And then the principles of freedom, we can have some things as far as like brothers won't allow um, military breed up or... Uh, if we have too many resources, then they apparently get upset. I don't know, we'll go for the principle of freedom there. Everything else here seems completely fine, so let's go ahead and start up. And now we have to choose a country where the Brotherhood begins its development. Great question. Well, you know, it might be kind of fun to actually try being in Russia, given that uh, we were having some uh, issues with them before. Apparently they're fairly strong. What if we go for an early revolution in Russia? and then lead them to conquer Poland, Lithuania, and or Sweden, depending on what things are looking like. That could be kind of fun. Unless there are any nations that we feel like are already set up for war. Prussia? No, not ready for war. Darn. Would be kind of nice if they were. Um, not ready for war. Okay, Austria's ready for war. I suppose we could do this. We could start in Austria and instead encourage them to go on conquest. But I like the idea of going for an early revolution in Russia. So we're going to start here. All right, so with Russia selected, we have six brothers right off the bat. Now, some of these guys we may decide we don't want to keep because we don't like some of their traits. Looking for anybody who's particularly weak. This guy's pretty good, actually, with a negotiator. Good reputation, mentor, uh, pilgrim, okay, piety, doo -doo -doo, wealth, celebrity. I don't like the xenophobia, per se. Wayward and a bully. Very good at what? Um... No, this guy's not particularly great. I may want to end up getting rid of this guy. Uh, we'll keep him for the very brief moment, but I want to make sure that we keep him behind in Russia because I'm going to end up getting rid of him. So let's go ahead and start getting some neophytes. Now, we are going to need to, of course, infiltrate the government as before. I also will want to have some people infiltrating places like Poland and Lithuania and Sweden so that we can try to weaken them militarily and maybe cause some civil unrest so that Russia can easily come in for the sweep. I also want to make sure we set up at least a couple of brothers in the Western Europe, especially in France, because I need a power bank. We want to get some resources generating, and France is the most powerful nation at the beginning of the game, at the very least. Uh, with these other guys, then, what do we do with you? I think we keep you here for the moment. Let's get ourselves a third neophyte, and you... You can go to Poland, Lithuania, and we'll go ahead and start infiltrating and weakening them. I think they make for the most logical choice. We'll see what happens, though. So here in Russia... We got a fair bit we need to do. They have a pretty strong military power at 600,000. That's not bad. The real trick is that we need to make them ready for war. Uh, right now, there is low levels of public order, um, which is causing some issues. We want to get this higher. In order to do that, we want to reduce the social entropy. Police reduce entropy, but clergy, priests, and soldiers can also contribute. Okay, so we want to try to find ways to increase the public order so that the people who are ruling Russia now feel confident. We have a good economy. If we can get political stability figured out, they would be... Oh, actually, they're ready for war right now. Oh, never mind. We're totally ready for war. Well, we could do that right now. We could stage some um, incidents at the border. Uh, I, want, I want to do conquests. I'm worried that if I do a political revolution right now, I'm not going to be able to do conquests. So maybe now wouldn't be a bad time to go for that. They're ready for war, potential targets of conquest, pretty much all of them. Huh. Curious, let's take a look at something. Relations. You have bad relations with everybody. Is that what I'm getting out of this? You have no friends. Russia is friendless at the moment. Well, good! Uh, okay, hey, so let's go to Poland, Lithuania and take a look over here and see what's going on. Poland, Lithuania, I want to look at the political map, has no allies. They do have some strength, but we can probably reduce this. Okay, so if we're going to go for an early war then, Let's go ahead and get um, the head of special services under our control. We're going to collect some information on this guy 
and try to recruit him because this guy can stage incidents at the border. Incidents are a great opportunity for people to go to war. So we're going to try some of that. Uh, we will also want to probably go ahead and learn a bit about the advisor and maybe also the supreme commander and develop an attack plan because that would make my life a little bit easier. Um, not going to be very easy to recruit, unfortunately. Let's see, bribery, not very good either. Well, we'll try for it because we need to get somebody under our control. Bribery there, sure, why not? Um, I really want the Supreme Commander. I'm going to try to intimidate you. There's only a 1 in 5 chance of this working. If it doesn't, we may have to assassinate you and try for someone else. Uh, I hope that doesn't come to that, but it might. It might very well. Um, okay, how are we looking economically here? So, wow, you are making a lot of money. Oh my gosh, Russia, look at you go. 6.3 million compared to 3 million expensive. That's like the best I've ever seen. It helps you have a freaking ton of of uh, natural resources to work with, given that Russia is, you know, huge. I mean, it is Russia at the end of the day. So that works for me. Okay, cool. I do want to lay the groundwork, ultimately, for um, staging a revolution. Preparation of the attack. Deterioration of relations with French Hispaniola. French Hispaniola? You're not going to war with French Hispaniola, are you? I don't know, you might be. Uh, we have a lot of awareness that just came out of this because I think we just failed in getting... Well, we managed to get the advisor, but we failed to get a lot of other folks. Um, hmm, so with the advisor... Uh, da, 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 how are we going to get you under control? I need to find a way to get you. I think we need to keep trying to bribe you, uh, unfortunately. Let's just see. Can I intimidate you or anything We're using somebody different? Yes, you are better with wealth. Let's try 63% to get you under control. We'll do that, we'll do that. And then these guys actually just need to spend some resources to reduce awareness because, oh my gosh, they uh, they discovered me pretty darn quick. So let's go ahead and do some of that. Pol Lithuania, here we are. Okay, so with you, I'm going to go ahead and also try to collect some info on the Supreme Commander and hopefully we can get you under our side because using you, I can reduce the mobilization of the country and reduce the number of soldiers that are here by a pretty large amount. And with a lot less soldiers, it's going to make it that much easier for us to take you on. We're going to try to intimidate you. A 59% chance is pretty darn good, I think. So we'll try for some of that. Please tell me we can get this. We did. Okay, so now that we have you under control, we are going to stage an incident at the border of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, which is right along here. Uh, but this does cost uh, some local power. It does not cost global power, as I said in the last video, because adepts require local power in order to work, but your brothers have global power working for them. So we're going to go ahead and deposit some resources along over here. We'll deposit at least like a 300 influence, and we're going to deposit uh, at least a bit of wealth, and we want to deposit at least a bit of power. Let's just take a look at all of that. Uh, Russia still thinks that they are ready for war, which is great. Okay, resources are coming in. Now we can stage the incident at the border with Poland, Lithuania, a sign. And it'll take him just a few days, but he can get that set up. We're not looking to necessarily um, do it right this second, though I don't think I have any say as to when they are going to declare war. That's one of the things that I can't control directly. I can only set the stage for war, but I don't have that power myself. We failed to get him under control. Darn it. Try it again. 50% chance. We lose a little bit of... Um, we lose a little bit of uh, potential progress, and we are getting a lot of awareness trying to intimidate this guy. Turns out he's not liking this. He's not liking this at all. Hmm, okay. So we had an incident at the border, yes? I'm pretty sure we did. Uh, there it is. Yep, incident at the border. So this should mean that Russia has an excuse to go to war against Poland-Lithuania if they so desire. Over here, let's once again start burning down some more signs of activity. We want to continue to um, infiltrate as much as we can. Let's just go ahead and burn that down. That did... There we go. Brought it down quite a bit. So, Supreme Commander, I think last time you were the one who was really good. Can we... Tr no, can't bribe you. Okay. Can we intimidate? Not easily. We can't quite get the guy for the attack plan. We're going to assassinate him. 92% chance is going to have to be good enough. We're going to assassinate this guy, and we're going to try for someone a bit better. In the meantime, let's collect some information on a few other guys so we can start building up the economy of Russia. And with the advisor under our control, we could actually try to arrange a palace coup, which could be interesting. Um, may want to end up doing that, depending on how things are going as far as changing up ideology. Goodness gracious, the Russians are surprisingly resilient. They do not want to be persuaded to join anything. Didn't expect them to be this difficult. Still was unable to get this guy under control. All right, we're going to try one more time. That's 100 awareness. We didn't get the heck out of Dodge the second that we got this guy here. 
little concerned, little concerned that we're going to get discovered, but you know, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, over here in France, we did say that we wanted to do some low-level um, recruitments and start getting some power and stuff uh, infiltrated out of France so we can get some more stuff in the bank, so we're going to use these guys to do exactly that. We'll need to get some neophytes, actually, because they're going to be a little bit suspicious of the Russians coming in there. Uh, let's see, we did not kill you, really? I had like a 92% chance. Okay, this guy's actually um, ready to level up, it looks like. Hang on, let's take a look at that. Clicking on you, yes, you are ready to, okay. Secrecy recovery, number of traits offered. I think we'll go for the secrecy recovery. That can be pretty darn nice. So let's go ahead and make you stealthy. You're gonna be my stabby, stabby bud. All right, let's try this again. Using stealthy, stealthy guy. Nope, we actually had a recent attempt, uh, attempt at assassinating and the result is this guy has a much more likely chance of surviving, but. We'll live without it. Um, okay, 38% chance. I'll take that. So let's discover who the ruler is in France. Uh, sorry, Fran uh, Russia. Possibly can bribe the king of Russia, the Tsar. That would obviously be pretty good for me. Over here in France, yes. Let's recruit some of these neophytes. Because we still need some local power. Uh, in Russia, I'm going to go ahead and go to my neophytes. And we are going to start finding resources. But again, making sure that we do set this to a specific level of secrecy because nobody wants to get detected in Russia. Only bad things will happen to me. There we go, much better. Okay, you are going to try to hide some signs of activity. You are also gonna try to hide signs of activity while I go on some recruitment sprees if possible. Poland, Lithuania. We did actually manage to convert the Supreme Commander this time. Okay, mobilization of soldiers. No, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sabotage you outright. I do not want him doing any of these errands and increasing mobilization. In fact, the opposite is true. I want to go to the mobilization of soldiers, and I want to reduce you down to, like, practically nothing. We do need to deposit a bit more uh, military power first. Let's do that real quick. Should only take a couple of days. Uh, let's see. And there is a battle between Russia and Poland Lithuania. Okay, we actually did get them to declare the war. It worked. Hang on. Russia declared the war on Poland Lithuania. Boom! All right, so with that being true, right now it looks like the Russians are absolutely beating the snot out of them. You can see what's going on down over here. 747,000 versus 330,000. Whoever has the largest power almost always is going to win. Russia is going to cause some serious damage here. We want to reduce how many losses they take, though, and that's why I want to go to things like mobilization law and try to reduce this down to practically nothing so that the Russians have a much, much easier time of it. If I had you under control, we could have made this even easier, but no, you had to be a problem, and I failed to assassinate you twice. What are the odds? All right, fine. Let's just go ahead and start collecting information and try to just go on some mass recruitments. Starting at the bottom is going to be easier than starting at the top. 41% there. We did manage to get the Tsar under control, though, so that's pretty good. All right, let's try for some other folks along here. A bribe at 85% chance is nice, and 38% uh, chance isn't fantastic. Let's see if we can get someone else. Uh, you are a... Nope, 30%, even worse. Alright, um, fine. We'll, we'll try for the 38%, but let's pay attention to our awareness and make sure it doesn't get that much worse. So, mobilization law has been reduced. It's gonna probably take a little while for it to take effect, but in the meantime, we should see that it's going down. What is this? A crime spree has just begun everywhere. Oh, wow. Poland-Lithuania is, uh, suddenly in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Uh, over here in France, we have a couple of neophytes. Are they good? Let's see. Educated and stuff, pretty decent, and inconspicuous and a philosopher. Perfect. So, the guys who are currently in France, I think I'm just going to go ahead and fire and remove them entirely because uh, while they are pretty high level, I, I don't think I really like them that much. Well, I take that back. Let's see. You're in France. You're a philosopher. You're pretty good. You I don't like, though. Let's get rid of... No, 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 wait. No, wait. I forgot. Sorry. These are the neophytes. Ha, ha, ha. No, in France, you guys. Yes, you I'm getting rid of. And you I'm getting rid of. There we go. Let's go ahead and put a couple of French masters in the order. That way it'll be a little bit easier for me to persuade some people to join since xenophobia is no longer going to be as much of a thing. All right, we'll try to persuade at least a couple of members and begin the low-level infiltration there. So we're making some good progress here. Um, after we conquer Polish-Lithuania, we have to decide what to do next. We could also try to attack Sweden, who, by the way, is in a form of anarchy. Well, ain't that funny. Didn't expect that. Okay. I don't think that Russia's going to want to go to war a second time. It's likely that there's a natural mechanic built in where they declare war, and then afterwards they want a period of kind of um, rebuilding. But we'll see. So the numbers for both armies is gradually going down, but it's getting a lot worse for Poland-Lithuania than it has been for Russia. We need to burn down this awareness so fast, it is really, really, really bad. 
Um, we seem to have upset quite a few people. Let's go ahead and hide some signs of activity, gosh dang it. We'll want to build a lodge here, of course. We need to get some power generation, and now that we have the king under our control, that's certainly doable. Um, but I need to get these signs of activity further down. So we're just going to keep paying some money to burn this. Okay, down to 57. That's at least a bit more reasonable. We'll use you guys to hide the signs of activity. We failed to recruit a couple more people, and that's one of the reasons it's so bad. Let's establish the lodge here. And let's also discover some more information while we can. And we're going to try for, let's say, a 45% chance along there. And a 50% chance along here. The Lithuanian region is occupied by the country. Okay, so Russia successfully marched their army and has occupied a piece of land. Okay, so that's now officially a thing. The um, military power of Poland Lithuania has been smashed. They are down to 90,000, whereas the Russians are still looking pretty good at 750,000. So they can continue making their move if they want to. Up here in Sweden, it's going to be a little bit awkward, I think, to pass any meaningful laws. Because um, they're an anarchy somehow. There is no governmental form. I'm guessing that the ruling party lost a lot of authority. We ultimately are going to try to do the same sort of thing in Russia when we try to have some sort of of a revolution in Russia, but for now, we'll go with this. So you, um, there's a pretty good chance I can just intimidate you onto my side, and I will. We did manage to get a couple more brothers over here. Perfect. Let's go ahead and start exploiting the post, and let's hide some signs of activity. Let's also recruit some more neophytes, since I'm pretty sure that I already used all my guys up. Get some more stuff going. More incidents at the border of somebody. The Netherlands and Liege are potentially staging up some wars. Fun. Uh, Russia, are you going to make some more pushes, or are you just going to stay there with Lithuania and end the war? I don't know. I don't actually have any control at this point, but there we go. Um, okay. Who else can we get under our control? Well, we really need to burn down these signs of activity. I'm not even kidding. It is super duper bad right now. Oh my gosh. We are like the most detectable person ever. But we now should know enough about information about literally everyone else in office. So who else is going to be easy to take? We can bribe you. We can intimidate you. Can't do anything else with the rest, because one of them is trying to build a lodge. Right, makes sense. So we have the Supreme Commander of the Anarchic Swedish. Uh, we're going to go to mobilization of soldiers. I can't do anything, because of course it's an anarchy government. Right. Yeah, nothing we can do here in Sweden. So we have the Supreme Commander under our control, if they have one. But, <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a thing. Sweden actually has a surprisingly robust military institution. Who knew? Okay, well that's good. Um, with that taken care of, let us go back to Poland-Lithuania, I suppose, and maybe we can continue trying to weaken them a little bit. I need to get some more neophytes set up. So we can collect some local power in France and make it a little bit easier for me. Like so. And we'll want to get a lodge there once we have enough infiltration going. Okay, give me a little time to start uh, consolidating some power and I'll be right back. Actually, real quick, just to prove the point, yes, Russia is continuing to attack. They're moving on to the next one, and the Commonwealth has practically nothing left to defend. They are absolutely getting rushed. Oh, man. You know something? I think I just saw that our guys were actually attacked in uh, France, which is interesting. So that might very well mean that there are the other Brotherhood located in here. Let's go for some intelligence and search for signs of enemy activity. Um, no, I don't see anything, at least not obviously. Let's hide some signs of activity, but if there is an enemy Brotherhood uh, base in here, that would make things a little bit difficult. Looks like we just got another level up for you. Uh, combat skill could be nice. All Masters whose levels are lower are going to gain experience or less chance of being compromised. I think we'll make it less chance of being compromised, because that should preserve my secrecy and make sure I don't, you know, get killed quite as easily. Um, we're going to continue hiding some more signs of activity in France. I don't want them to detect me. Not sure why we got attacked if I'm not seeing any signs of the enemy lodges over here. That doesn't mean that they're not here, it just means that I didn't detect them. Uh, let's try to continue recruiting some more people. I'm not seeing evidence that um, the enemy lodge has already managed to uh, persuade some people to join their brotherhood. So maybe we are good to go. Let's hide some more signs of activity up over there. French is still marching. Whoops. I don't know, I just hit there. French is, uh, sorry, the Russians are still marching and taking on some more territory. So, as over time, they should be able to win this war pretty easily. And once they're done, we're going to try something else. Lithuania, by the way, I think is at war with somebody else now. Or maybe they're not. Yes, they are. They are at war against... No, just Russia. Okay, never mind. I thought I saw something that said they were at war with more people. They're not. They're fine. 
Got a fair bit of power that's building up here, and we definitely want as much of this influence as possible, so I'm very happy to have this, because we're going to use a lot of it to start persuading people to join to a different side. Let's just keep recruiting. I'm having a little trouble recruiting a couple of folks in Russia, so what I've done is I've assassinated a couple of more, and they'll get filled in eventually, including the Supreme Commander during a war. Arguably not the best thing, but oh well. And I'm actually using the ruler to try and compromise people using one of the government abilities to compromise officials who have not joined the Brotherhood so that hopefully they get kicked out of position. I'm looking to give the king a reason to kick this guy out. Looks like I didn't find anything. No, nothing I can blackmail, but oh well. We are trying to set up um, control of the ambassador here in Austria, because what I would like to do is start establishing some peace talks and good relations between Russia and Austria, and maybe form an alliance between them, or at the very least, make sure that Austria does not ultimately interfere in Russia's affairs, who, by the way, is only getting more powerful as time goes on. Let's see if we can set up that diplomatic meeting with Russia I was talking about. This should improve relations quite a bit. Um, since Russia doesn't really have any friends, I figure that's always going to be a good thing. Ooh, we found another brother. Okay, let's go ahead and go to counteraction. We're going to organize a kidnapping of this guy since he's been exposed. I have a lodge here, so we automatically detect people when they come into the country, which is obviously pretty helpful. Let's try to hide some signs of activity too, by the way. It's been really rough keeping this down. Um, they definitely have rebalanced something along the lines there. Okay, so this guy's been captured. Cool. I could interrogate him. I could do whatever, but I'm, I'm not really worried about it. How's the war against Poland-Lithuania? Looking pretty good, honestly. Um, most places have been occupied. I think only five territories left and one is about to fall. Lithuania actually has now fallen into anarchy. It's so low in its public order, so that's pretty bad. Prussia is also being attacked by uh, Austria. So Austria and Russia are soon to become neighbors, and Sweden is still an anarchy. How fun. Okay, I think Russia actually just resolved their war, interestingly. They didn't finish taking all of Poland-Lithuania, but I think that somewhere down the line they decided they have a stagnating economy, and as a result cannot continue to sustain the war, so that ended. So I took a good chunk of it, though. Take a look at that. Whoa, boom! That is a lot of people now serving Russia. Okay. Now that we have made Russia victorious... It's time to undermine the ever-loving crud out of it. Um, so let's take a look at ideology right now. So in ideology, they are sitting at a bit of absolutism, 66% of the population, but not much in the way of pressure. Okay, so if we wanted to come over here and start, let's say, our own um, governments or our own ideology, what would we do? Let's see. We're going to go to a state, and we could spread a few things. Do we want to go for a socialist revolution of uh, Russia just, uh, you know, 100, 200 years early? Yeah, I think we're going to go for a socialist revolution. Okay, so let's go ahead and start spreading this. This is going to cost me a lot of influence, of course. In the meantime, we do want to spread this with at least a few of the other um, powerful factions within the country. And that'll include, let's say, the capitalists and the clergy, let's say, here, and get socialism going over there. But this should get me a lot of uh, pressure building up. And there's a lot of protests going on right now, so I would say that this country is ripe for a revolution. Let's take a look at ideologies now. Um, still not showing any pressure, but that's because nobody believes in uh, socialism yet. Don't worry, they will. We're going to want to also reduce the authority of the existing ruling party so that they have less overall support. Of course, there's no one else for people to support right now. We are going to have to create that other political party. Uh, okay, here it comes. So in socialism, you can see we now have managed to build up to 17.2 thousand simply by targeting the right estates and giving them this pressure, which is pretty nice. That's what we were trying to do, by the way, with the English colonies in the last video, and it probably would have worked eventually. It just wasn't showing up right away. It's just, you know, Russia kind of threw me for a loop. Uh, so this is building up. We've also greatly reduced the influence of uh, absolutism to negative 9.4 thousand. So we should start seeing that socialism is going to have a meteoric rise within the country. Austria also just won their war against Prussia and took some land over here. Well, good for them. Wait, no, they took more than that, didn't they? What is this? No, this is Spain. Spain took a ton of land off of Prussia. So did Portugal. Oh, my. <laughs> a lot is happening in Europe right now. Anyway, uh, let's make sure that the uh, awareness doesn't get too high, but... We're going to want to create a new political party and start building up some support for them. So, let's see. Who doesn't have an absolute ton of secrecy? You're okay. Let's go ahead and create a party, a new political force for socialism with the Orthodox religion, probably. I mean, it's not technically how it's supposed to be historically, but we'll go for Eastern Orthodoxy so it's worth uh, while well with the people. Uh, public will go for a parliamentary republic socialist form. It's going to be an expansionist form with protectionism and state control. 
Actually, let's go for mixed trade policy. Trade policy can be either one. That's all fine. Okay, so this is where we're creating a new socialist party in Russia. And it's only going to take me four days, surprisingly. I thought it took longer than that. Sweet! <laughs> we're going to have no trouble with this one. Wait, what just happened? Hang on. Wait a minute. Support of political forces? The socialist party just took over. Wait, what? I didn't expect that to happen. I thought I'd have to go for a coup. I didn't have to do a coup? Oh, okay. We aren't the prevalent uh, the prevalent um, ideology yet. We, we only are at 37,000 uh, pressure and 15% of the population, but... Uh, interestingly, yeah, we I, thi I think what may have accidentally happened is we reduced the support for the ruling conservative loyalist party so much by reducing their um, prevalence and their pressure by minus 10,000, we made everyone no longer support them. And that was all it took in order to actually make everyone swap over to the socialists. We're socialists. Mission accomplished, ladies and gentlemen. We actually just flipped Russia. No, wait, no, wait, no. They're in a form of anarchy. Oh, wait, no, okay. They've got really good public order though. What's the issue? Well, there is no ruler. I think we did kill the Tsar, which makes sense. He was one of my own brothers, so it sucks to do that. Uh, we should assassinate this guy and try for a different one, because 0% across the board just ain't gonna cut it for me. Sorry, not gonna let you do that. Haha, -ha, he's dead! There is no ruler! True anarchy reigns! <laughs> Anarcho-socialism? I don't know. Still need to build up the official support for all this, but it will go up over time. I mean, 37,000 uh, pressure for socialism compared to minus 10,000 right now for absolutism based on what I've done. This should go fairly quick for us, I think. In the meantime, let's actually go to Russia and let's uh, stage another incident at the border. Because why not? Incident at the border with, let's say, Sweden. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and have this happen. Now, you're not ready for war at the moment. You've got a strong but stagnating economy. Okay, so we'd have to increase the treasury of you. That's how we would make you happy. Oh, yeah, your expenses have grown quite a bit. Okay, well, fair enough. Um, you have no revenue. Well, that's because you're an anarchy. It turns out it's very difficult to collect taxes when no one believes the government exists. We're also spreading a bit more of the Eastern Orthodox faith, and you do that the exact same way as you spread the ideology. There's another option, if we can swap over to the different political map, another option for the spreading of religion, exact same concept there. So now we are spreading the ideology very rapidly, we're up to almost a third of the population, and the religion of Eastern Orthodoxy is continuing to grow, so we're gonna have a proper hegemonic control over the country. There is a new Tsar, well, quote-unquote, over the Parliamentary Republic. No, it's a Prime Minister. Ha-ha! <laughs> we got out of our anarchic phase perfectly. Can I get you under my control? Dang it. <laughs> we were technically better off with the Tsar when I had more infiltration, but okay. No, that'll work. That'll work just fine. So I think we did stage an incident up with the border. Uh, let's see. The country is ready for war, and the treasury is now being replenished. Yup, now that we have managed to get out of our anarchic phase, Russia's looking strong. Oh boy, dude. Alright, so any second you want to go to war against Sweden, like, you can, dude. They're still in anarchy, we've got a million men strong, ready to go, we have a new parliamentary socialist republic. Yeah, I think I've accomplished my goal just fine, actually. The only thing we could have done better is maybe turn it into a theocracy instead, but I'm good with this. Early revolution in Russia! And they are set up to become the dominant force in the world. Even oh, better than France. Wow, they are strong. All right, well, that is a bit more of what you can do in secret government. It does take a little bit of time to set everything up and make sure you have every office infiltrated. There's a lot of different moving pieces, but once you get it all set up, you can actually accomplish some pretty fun stuff. Having a socialist Russia that can conquer all of Europe, I'm good with that. That seems pretty fun to me. Now, thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If so, then of course I would ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Don't forget that there is a link in the description down below if you would like... What the heck is West Florida doing here? If you would like to learn more, and again, thank you to 1C uh, Entertainment for sponsoring today's video. My name is Provis, and I will see you guys next time.